Hey, hello everyone. I'm Chu Huanwu from Tsinghua University. I'm very glad to present our work, Feed Direct, in the feed recommendation with various user feedback. And in this work, we study how to utilize heterogeneous feedbacks of users on the online news feed platform to help better model user interests and better train the recommendation model. So in recent years, personalized news recommendation is very important for various online news platforms. And this personalized news recommendation techniques have empowered this platform to provide personalized news feed recommendation and uh, to better comment user information needs. And most existing news recommendation methods rely on click behaviors to infer user interest and train the recommendation model. For example, in many existing methods, you really infer user interest from the historical click news and then match the candidate news with the user embedding inferred from the click news. So we observe that usually click is sufficient for model user interest because click behaviors are implicit and usually very noisy as mentioned in the previous talks. We can also confirm that the click behaviors are too noisy to accurately model user interest. And in practice, many news can be click bytes and these news may not be so informative but attractive to users. So if users are attracted to click, but are not, may not be satisfied by the, the content of news. And in addition, many user interests such as like and dislike cannot be indicated by the implicit click feedbacks. And this, these various kinds of user interests are very important for improving the user engagement on the news platform and provide and providing high quality news feed recommendations. So users on news feed platforms really have various feedbacks and some of them are explicit and some of them are implicit. For example, the explicit feedback such as, such as share and dislike are very strong, although they can be somewhat, somewhat sparse. And in addition, the click and skip feedbacks are really implicit feedbacks and this kind of feedbacks are really very, very abundant. But these behaviors are really also very noisy. And different from this implicit weak, weak feedback and explicit feedback, there are also some implicit strong feedbacks constructed from the user behaviors. For example, users may would like to finish reading the article if they are really interested in, really interested in. and if the user are only attracted by the title, but are not satisfied by the content. They may close the web page very quickly and leave the news feed platform. And this various user feedbacks usually provide rich information for comprehensively inferring user interest and training the recommendation model. And there are only a few methods for exploring heterogeneous user feedbacks for feed recommendation. And for example, for the DFN approach, they use click and non-click as well as the dislike feedback to model users. And you, you, they use the click and dislike feedbacks to distill some weak, weak positive and negative feedback from on clicks. And for the CPRS method, they use click, non-click as well as the reading, personalized reading speed derived from the content length and, and the dual time of users to model users. And they train models in both click prediction and personalized reading speed prediction task. To, <clears throat> however, this method will have the following challenges. First, implicit feedbacks are really very noisy. So, in the above methods, they, they cannot exact, they cannot effectively distill the real user positive feedback from click feedbacks. In addition, the intensity of user interest in, reflected by different feedbacks is really different. For example, the share or dislike feedbacks are very strong, while click and skip feedbacks are really weak. In addition, there are also some inherent interactions between different kinds of feedbacks. For example, usually a user may first click and then finish reading a news article. So there must be some interaction between these feedbacks. So motivated by these observations, we propose a feedback a feedback approach. And the user modeling part of our approach is shown in this figure. 
first, we aggregate the various kinds of user feedback into a unified behavior sequence. And we first use a new encoder to convert each behavior into, uh, into a behavior embedding. This behavior embedding contains the content of news and several additional features. And then to model the interaction between different feedbacks, we use a transformer to capture the inherent relations between the heterogeneous feedbacks. And the hidden representations of these feedbacks are further grouped by the feedback type. These feedback types, for example, there are share, finish, click, skip, a quick close, and dislike. So we use a homogeneous transformer to capture the interaction between the same kind of feedback. So that the different characteristics of different kinds of feedbacks can be considered. And then we use a time network to convert the shared feedback sequence into an explicit positive feedback embedding as shown in the left part. And in a similar way, we use uh, an attention network to, to learn the explicit negative feedback from dislike sequence. So both kinds of feedbacks are very strong. And these strong feedbacks can help to distill and guide the selection of weak feedbacks. So we first use the positive and negative the explicit feedback as a attention query of the finish or the quick close attention network to learn the implicit strong positive or implicit strong negative feedbacks. And these strong feedbacks are further combined with the explicit feedbacks to form, to form a unified positive or negative feedback representation. And these feedbacks are really still somewhat strong. And this feedback can be used to distill the real weak positive or weak negative feedbacks from both click and click and skip behaviors because some clicks are positive while some can be negative. And for skip behaviors, some of them can be positive. Although the, the attention query can be used to select the click and skip feedbacks. The positive feedback and the negative feedback do not necessarily be disentangled. So to further help the model disentangle the positive and negative feedback, we introduce an additional positive negative disentangling loss to regularize the two embeddings to be orthogonal. So that the positive feedback and the negative feedbacks do not overlap. And finally, the four kinds of user feedback, including the strong positive, weak positive, weak negative, and strong negative, I use for model training. <clears throat> and we'll briefly introduce the news encoder. The news encoder incorporates the text information of news, as well as the position of this, uh, of this behavior in the sequence, and the behavior type embedding, and the dual time embedding, as well as the time interval embedding. And all kinds of embeddings are added together as the unified user, uh, as the unified news embedding. So for model training part, we construct three different objectives for model training in a unified way. So for in common model training methods, the, the task is a click prediction task. And here we introduce two additional tasks. One is the additional finish prediction prediction task. And this, this has to aim to predict whether a user will finish reading a click news. And the second one is real time prediction. And this uh, task aim to predict the real time of the user on a click news so that the model can be aware of the, the satisfaction of the user on the news. So all the three types of loss function are jointly optimized. And the loss, final loss function it also combined with the previously discussed the disentangling regularization. And we use three coefficients, alpha, beta, and gamma to control their relative importance. And these are hyperparameters. And so it's our, we conduct experiments on a data set collected from the Microsoft News app. And this data set contains 10,000 of users. And we can see that from the, the statistics on the, on the right part, we can see that the skip and the click feedbacks are usually abundant, while quick close and finish are somewhat sparse, while the share and dislike 
this this explicit things that are, are usually the, the most sparse. And we observe an interesting phenomenon that the distribution of your time has two peaks. One is a is about 100 seconds, and the other is located as a, at about a few seconds. So this distribution shows that some news articles are, are click byte. So users may not be satisfied by the news content and leave the web page quickly. And so in our experiments, we compare different methods in terms of two groups of metrics. And the left table shows some click, re click related metrics. And the right table shows the user engagement re related metrics. So we can, from the results, we can see that incorporating multiple kinds of user feedbacks, you really have improvements in terms of, of both news clicks and user engagement. And our approach can achieve the best performance in, term, in terms of all metrics, especially some important metrics such as share, dislike, and finish. I, I mostly, I, I improve them the most. And then we class some several operation studies on the different types of feedbacks. We remove one of one of kind of the feedback from the model and see the the model performance. We find that although some strong feedbacks such as shared dislike are very strong, the sparsity of these feedbacks makes their limited contribution to the final performance. Well, the most abundant skip and click feedbacks have the major contributions to the model performance improvements. And we also ex explore the effectiveness of the core model architectures. So we remove the homogeneous transformer that captures the interaction between the same kinds of feedbacks and or remove the, the strong to weak attention that, that use strong feedbacks to, uh, to select the, the weak feedbacks and or remove the heterogeneous transformer that captures the interactions between different kinds of feedbacks. So we, we find that also the core models uh, uh, are informative for our approach, and they all have different, uh, more or less, contribution to the performance improvements. And we also study the influence of different loss functions. We find that also the loss functions have the contribution to our approach. And since we cannot remove the click prediction loss, so we, we study the performance by removing the finish prediction, dot time prediction, or the disentangling loss. So we find that the distangling loss has the most important contribution to the model performance. This shows that distilling high quality positive and negative feedbacks are important for news feed recommendation. And we also study the influence of different kinds of embeddings. So the, we, we can see that by removing the different kinds of embeddings, the performance all has some, uh, a little drop. So, but, but for the most important part is the uh, feedback in type embedding. And this is M2 in, indicates the, the type of the feedback. So this, this part, part really has the most important contribution. And we also have some parametric analysis. First, we study the, the delta threshold to construct the quick close the feedback. The quick close feedback we use is Define as uh, uh, the use click behaviors. Uh, if their dial time is less than 10, times, 10 seconds. So, as shown in, in our previous statistic figures, we can see that the, the, the first peak appears at the, the about the, the, the threshold is about less than 10 seconds. So, we can see that if we set the threshold to 10 seconds, the performance is the best. So, we think it, it's properly to you use 10 seconds as a threshold to cut the click behaviors and construct the quick close feedback. And finally, we discuss the influence of the loss coefficients. We find that um, uh, using a moderate loss coefficient are uh, really preferable for our method. For example, the 0 0.3 for alpha, 0 0.15 for beta, and 0. Uh, 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 for gamma. So in this approach, we study a news feed recommendation problem based on the various kinds of user feedbacks. 
So in our approach, we propose a unified user modeling framework to incorporate various explicit or implicit user feedbacks, comprehensively model user interests. And we propose to use a strong to weak attention network to distill the strong feedbacks from the weak feedbacks. So to distill the, sorry, to distill the, the, the positive or negative feedbacks from the weak implicit feedbacks. And we also use a multi-feedback model training framework to learn engagement aware recommendation model so that we can recommend news that are not only clicked by users, but also are satisfied by the users. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention. And is there any questions? Uh, thank you, Chuhan, for a very interesting talk. Uh, we have time for, for some questions. Audience, please feel free to, to post questions in the, in the chat. Okay, we have one question. Uh, Zahra said, thanks for the great presentation. Can you please explain what was the evaluation signal? A great question. The, the, in our experiments, the evaluation is offline conducted so that the, for the news click, metrics are computed based on the, the offline ranking results. So these, these are really common settings. So for the engagement metrics, we use the, the ratios of share, dislike, finish of the top recommendation results, as well as the average deal time of the top recommendation results. If for the unclicked news, we, we use the, we set the every deal time to zero. So in this way, we'll contract, we will construct the metrics for model evaluation. Thank you. Um, are, there any, are, are, there, are there any any scalability concerns if you want to apply this method to some bigger data sets? Okay, I think it is okay to apply the proposed approach to bigger data sets because the structure of our model is, is two tower. So we can uh, first in, in the online inference stage, we can first infer the user embedding from the behavior sequence and then cache this user embeddings. And we can directly use the user embeddings to evaluate, evaluate their relevance to the candidate news embedding to compute the click scores for ranking. So uh, I think our approach is, is feasible in some users in a, a large data set and even in a low, low latency scenario. Uh, 